Alright guys, welcome, and this is uh, a new VOD I'm going to release, this is Konana here, and um, this is going to be a very excellent matchup, uh, a match that I have been anticipating, because it has one of my favorite players in it, um, Savior, and uh, the other player, the Terran, is Flash, who is also a new player, um, who's been playing pretty well lately. Um, I'll go a little bit over the background of the players uh, in a short while, but this is on the map Hitchhiker, and uh, I'm very curious to see who will win. Um, Savior, I mean, I would like him to win, but I'm not sure if he will manage to pull this off. He he is part of CJ Entis, and his name is Ma Jae-yoon. Uh, he's not really in a slump, but his defeat by Firebat Hero at the MSL... Um, may still be hurting his confidence, which is something I'm worrying about a little bit. Uh, and he has a 57.14% chance of uh, winning against Terrans. Now, Flash, on the other hand, his name is Lee Young Ho, and he is part of the KTF Magic uh, NS. And something I'd really like to note about him is that he's 15 years old. Now, most of the StarCraft programmers are 18 to 20. Uh, a little bit ab around there, and uh, that's something that sets Beast, uh, that sets Flash um, out from the other players. And uh, something I like to say about him is that he knocked Bisu out of the OS OSL, the Dom OSL, with two cheeses, which really I don't think was very nice. But um, he did manage to go forward, but he did still lose and not win the MSL or the OSL. So recently he had a losing streak of seven games but at the moment he has a three game winning streak and his percentage versus Zerg to win is 63.64 percent which is a very nice percentage. Uh, I'd like to note that Flash is um, a very nice player even for his young age and uh, I'd like to note something about this uh, map as well called Hitchhiker. It's a little bit biased, it's a little bit imbalanced in the favor of Terran. The narrow passageway uh, only offers no flanking and um, the only advantage a Zerg could get out of it is that the overlords can hide on the cliffs and uh, give some pretty nice scouting. But that there's only one main route. The other two routes are blocked off by neutral buildings, which you have to de destroy to get past. So it is a little bit imbalanced in favor of Ter in Terran. So this is going to be quite a hard game for Savior to pull off, I would imagine. But um, at this point, we see that both players are playing pretty standard. And uh, I think that Flash not being able to scout We'll be trying to play it a little bit safer. Um, because his SCV was denied by the Zerglings, he probably will not know uh, if he should attack or not. Because you always have to scout, and if you don't scout, uh, it's very risky. So this SCV is going to be able to get safely back to its base, but it's not going to be able to pull off that scouting that is pretty a pretty big requirement. So we see now that Savior's uh, natural has been completed and a factory is being started up for Flash. This is a quite early factory in my opinion. He may be trying to tech a little bit faster or get the tanks as soon as possible. Um, I, th I see here that he's denying the scout drone with this marine uh, uh, importantly placed at that little choke point there. So he Savior's not going to be able to get the important scouting as well. Um, I think something that I saw earlier was that Savior was going for a two hatch rebuild, and this is something that's really, really not like him. He is a macro beast, and he's he has very good micro as well. But his macro is really excellent. Um, I see that he only has two hatcheries, and he is going for fast tech um, with that lair. Uh, he will probably be trying to get his mutalisks a little bit earlier. But um, with that, with not making that third hatchery, uh, which is something that he usually would do, and going for the mutalisks a little bit faster, he is going to leave himself a little bit uh, unprotected in the early game, as well as the fact that he can't create as many units. And when he creates those six mutalisks, it's only going to be six compared to a nine mutalisk attack, 
which you usually would have if you did a three hatch rebuild, even though you would be a little bit later behind in tech. So I think I kind of disagree with Saber's choice with this two hatch rebuild. It's a very risky build, and it's very hard. Even though his mirrorless micro is very very nice, if he if Flash gets a scanner up soon and he finds this out he will probably try and attack we see the spire is coming up right now and savior's drone count is pretty low uh, which is another con of doing this early tech so we see now that flash is going to start pushing out this is going to be spotted by the overlord of savior savior does know that this is coming and he's going to try and put up as many sunkens as possible this is really going to hinder his economy but he needs to do it because there's a tank and a lot of marines coming this is a very very bad position for savior to be in right now because that tank is going to get siege mode soon and i have to pause this right here